Hi, I'm Tino Peabody, owner of Peabody Residential. We work in uh, Northern Virginia and Washington, D.C. I'm going to be talking to you quickly about wear and tear. So what is wear and tear that's associated with a lease? That's kind of the big question. So you have a tenant who moves into a property and it is in that condition when they move in and then a year later or two years or three years later they move out. And at that point you assess what the difference in the condition is. And you're going to have the wear and tear that's normal, which are things that you know are going to be kind of the cost of having a tenant in there and the cost that the owner will occur and the kind of wear of the property. And then you're going to have things outside of general wear and tear. And this is going to be damage. So it's normal wear and tear or damage, fairly straightforward. Now, the key things to keep in mind are basically two. There's actually really two things. There is, if over, what is normal wear and tear? Normal wear and tear is what would happen if you were living in the house, just like the tenant. Keeping in mind that however many tenants there are and whatever their occupancy situation is, is gonna be what it is. So if you have two people, living in a property for three years, they should not really have as much wear and tear as a family. However, you know, you're gonna have a situation where they may be putting more things up on the wall or there may be some other type of use. Now, normal wear and tear is going to be, again, just what is normal living in the property? Small stains here and there. That's gonna be normal wear and tear over a year or even a couple years. Uh, nail holes in the walls, small ones for picture hangings, fine. Um, you know, wearing a little bit on the fraying of the edging of the carpet, yes. Uh, light scratches in your hardwood, yes. Uh, sofa marks on the wall from the sofa going back and forth, yes. That's general wear and tear, that's normal. Things that are going to be damage or what we call misuse would be holes in the wall and not you know, either holes caused by them putting up something like a mounted television or something enormous or uh, the back of a door handle hitting the wall or them kicking the door or punching the door or the closet or something like that. Um, or significant, you know, stains and things like that on the carpet and significant scratches on the hardwood, okay? These, that's kind of the damage misuse. Now, what I like to say is, WWJT, what would a judge think? What would a judge think? Because as a property manager and as an owner, at the end of the day, that's the end of it. That you should side, you know, kind of with caution rather than being very aggressive because it's very easy for a tenant to object and then you have to go to court. And if there is an objection, you have to stand in front of a judge and prove that this was not normal wear and tear. So it's WWJT. What would a judge think? If you think a judge would think that, yes, what you charged or what you're considering to be damage or misuse is that, excellent. If you're not sure or you think, you know, maybe you could kind of go either way, side with caution. It is the best thing to do. Long term, you will have a better tenant experience. You'll have better turnover. You'll feel better about things. You're being a little bit more fair. And in the end, you'll have less problems. And don't forget, the security deposit disposition, which is what you know, you're going to keep for this wear and tear, all of those things are going to cost you money if you have to spend more time on them than just marking it and moving on and finding the new tenant and moving forward. So that's kind of a quick, maybe a little bit longer than expected, uh, normal wear and tear. And again, WWJT, what would a judge think? If you have any questions, you can reach out to us and call our office or send us an email. Thanks very much.